My name is Brother Camillus Chavez. I work at St. Mary's College. I teach meditation. I try to help people connect to the deeper dimension of who they are in a prayerful and uh, focused manner so they discover the wonders of who they are and also of how they can open up to the wonders within. Prayer means a time to focus and be with the Lord. It means to stop everything else and let the mind rest and let awareness emerge and heart take over and pray the Spirit fills us and leads us to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Over the years, I've come to recognize that prayer is both something that I do and something that happens to me. Each morning, I try to take time to uh, do spiritual reading, to put me in a particular frame of mind. Uh, I read the scriptures, uh, mostly for the mass of the day, and I reflect on those and try to see how God might be speaking to me in my life uh, through God's Word. Um, and then sometimes I just sit quietly and meditate. But then during the day, not every day, but from time to time, I become very aware of God's presence to me. For example, uh, sitting in the office with uh, a student, having a conversation and becoming aware of God being with me, or with a colleague, or some event uh, that brings the palpable presence of God to me, where I'm mindful uh, that, uh, that what I do and what I'm saying, uh, God is part of that. And so I see this prayer as something that I do and something that happens to me as complementary, not one necessarily better than the other, but it's how my prayer has developed, evolved uh, over time. One of the things that I realize is that prayer is uh, something that I really need, that if I don't do it, I don't get it, uh, like air, or if I'm, I feel like I'm drowning, I feel like I'm going under, and so, if there are times that I go for some length of time without prayer, uh, that feeling reminds me I need to get back uh, into it. Hello, my name is Brother Joseph Wright, and I'm a novice with the Brothers of the Christian Schools. And for me, prayer is a, a time of refuge, and a place of refuge where I can go and be with God, uh, collect my thoughts, reflect on what, uh, where I've experienced God in my day and consider how He's calling me to be a better and more authentic disciple. Um, how I pray is I recall that I am in God's holy presence and that He is inviting me to uh, live out His life and uh, inviting me to be intimate and open with Him about my life. And uh, So I try and look for Him in all things and eventually just uh, rest in Him and simply be present. Hi, my name is Brother Roberto Martinez. I'm from the San Francisco New Orleans District, and I'm here teaching at Sacred Heart Cathedral. Uh, what is prayer for me? I think for me, prayer is what keeps me going, both in my teaching and in my vocation. And just being a brother, I think prayer for me, it's helpful, uh, community prayer and just prayer alone. Uh, it's my communication and my energy towards God, and that's how I bring uh, the spirit of faith and to my students and the way I pray is uh, we have morning prayer with my brothers but also just journaling and for me prayer also going on walks and just listening uh, to God and for me that's what prayer does for me and my life and my vocation. My name is Brother Joseph Joswiak and uh, I would just like to share some ideas as to what uh, what I consider to be prayer for me. 
Uh, for me, prayer is the experience of an intimate relationship that I have with God. Uh, a relationship that is not one-sided, but a relationship in which I can experience God's love for me and all that that conjures up in my experience and it's a relationship that I can express my love for God. Uh, again, it's an intimate experience in prayer. It's an intimate experience of relationship. And the way that I pray is uh, I, I notice God, first of all, I notice God in my everyday life experience. I take to God in prayer those moments that are periods of consolation, uh, those moments that are periods of desolation. I take them to God and as I reflect on them, I see where God has been at those times in life. I believe that is truly uh, what prayer is, at least from my point of view. Now, we have rote prayer, we have ritualistic prayer, uh, we have communal prayer, but I think the best example of prayer is that in which the person takes time to be in relationship with God. It's going to Golden Gate Park taking some walks there and just recognizing how many colors of green we see there and how many flowers and, and the, even here in California when things change color and just to see the beauty of God and, and the creation and just that gives me an opportunity to, to, to be thankful and, and tell God what, what a wonderful creator he was. Okay. I'm Brother Brian Henderson. I pray because I realize I can do nothing without the help of God. Our prayer, let us remember we are in the holy presence of God, always keeps me mindful that I have to be careful about how I conduct myself, how I interact with people. Do I really see the face of God and all I meet? Do I bring the way of Jesus in the way I interact with all people I meet. Prayer is important to me both individually and with my community so that I am ever conscious of my responsibility to bring God's love to others as well as appreciate God's love in my life. So my name is Brother Francis, I'm a Christian brother. Prayer for me is an opportunity to step away from the pressures that come with daily life. Uh, communally, it's an opportunity to be with my brothers, to be with my brothers who I have chosen to spend my life with. And, and for personal prayer, it's an opportunity to be with my God and to think of what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and in some cases, to just be. Hey, my name is Sister Dolores Montini. I'm a sister of St. Joseph, and I'm an affiliate of the Christian Brothers, and I am the chaplain to the athletes. I think prayer means a lot of things, and it's an evolutionary process for me. Um, there's private prayer, there's public prayer, there's meditation. It is a, a real relationship with God, and how I go about doing that in my everyday life. But in reality, it's how I transform prayer into my lived experience, and then I become the prayer. God and I are in love. And that love is continual. It's as continual to me as my breath. And so, I try to think of my breath and when I inhale, I say to myself, I love you. That's God to me. When I exhale, I say I love you and that to myself and that's me to God. And so,
Hi, I'm Brother Dennis Lee, and I'm happy to reflect with you about prayer life. For me, we have the blessing of, let us remember we're in the holy presence of God. As teachers, we allow our students two or three seconds to pause on that, but the older I have gotten, the more time I'm happy to spend just with those words, even if it's for a half hour. I try to avoid distractions, I try not to do a lot of talking, but I take great consolation in the words from Paul to the Romans, where he says, we do not know how to pray as we should, but the Spirit intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. I'm confident that God knows what it is I need and why it is that I'm gathered with Him in prayer. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brother Charles. Um, in, in terms of prayer, I would say that uh, I always start my prayer by remembering that I'm in the Holy Presence of God, which is the Losalian prayer for, for all of us. I find, though, that um, when I go to pray, that my, um, my life is so busy and there's so many things going through my head that I need to do another, another step there. So what I do is, I, after I recall God's presence, I sit in the presence of Jesus and I say to Jesus, I say, um, there's nothing more important in my life right now than for me to be in your presence. Absolutely nothing. So I look at it as kind of a, as a metaphor would be that I'm in a boat and the currents are going really fast on either side of me. And I take an anchor and I throw it in the water. And that anchor for me is saying there is absolutely nothing more important in my life than being in your presence right now. And it makes the presence of Jesus in my life a reality when I do that. Hello, my name is Brother Javier. I am a novice with the Brothers of Christian Schools. What this means is I'm in my official training year of the Brothers. For me, prayer is very important. Prayer is what gives energy to everything I do in my life. Prayer is an opportunity for me to sit down with Jesus and for me to explain to him everything that's happening in my life. It is also an opportunity for me to listen to what Jesus needs to say to me. There are different types of prayer that I use. Um, you can use a rosary, which I find very helpful. You can use a New Testament and reflect on the words of Jesus. And together as brothers, we use the Book of Christian Prayer. I encourage you with whatever way you might be praying to pray even more and to pray more consistently and to see what positive changes happen in your life. Thank you. I find prayer uh, very easy uh, when I'm out in the world. Kind of difficult when I have to sit in the chapel. And my biggest daily prayer is coming to school each morning and then as the children come in uh, late or sick, I have a beautiful, uh, a beautiful, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, feeling that uh, God is really with them. And then I, as I take care of them, I see God and I just love that that's my prayer of the day. Well, the first thing I'd say about uh, my prayer is that you know, over the years it has changed. Uh, initially, it was more saying prayer, saying words, but gradually, after I joined the brothers, it became much more uh, meditative, first on the scriptures, but then also over the years on my own life, uh, how I was engaging with the experiences of my life, whether or not the I was contributing to the issues of, of uh, the difficulties I'd always finding. And that uh, yielded a lot of self-knowledge that was very helpful. And, and also fostered more prayer during the day, uh, short prayers. So that supplemented the kind of the time for meditation. And, and also it, it uh, kind of connected with St. LaSalle's spirit of faith and uh, accepting God's providence in our life throughout the day. So now it's a matter of uh, accepting God's love in each of the experiences uh, of the day that I, uh, that I have and that sharing that in ministry, sharing that, that, uh, that goodness of God in ministry. Well, I'm 103 years on this planet, some 84, teaching in the classroom. Latin and religion. 
Now, I have uh, reference to thinking of prayer. We need God. That's the beginning. And we don't, you don't have to be long on this planet before you recognize the fact that you need God. And to know that there's a loving and willing God to help you is encouraging. Um, and then besides, besides our regular prayers, we have community prayers. And we have private prayer. And besides that, we have aspirations, quickie prayers. And uh, my mother was great for the quickie prayers. Now, St. Paul had a special word that he, he, he said, I have not seen nor hath ear heard, nor hath it into the heart of man, what God has promised for those who love him. Now, as my mother was lying in the hospital approaching death, and I was in another city, I phoned her to check on her condition. When she f reached the phone, some little delay, I apologized for dragging her to the phone. She interrupted my apology by saying, I would come to this phone today, if need be, crawling on my hands and on my knees, just to hear the sound of your voice. That was a, a treasure, of course, which I have cherished over the years, the love of mother love. And of course, just as the, the stars above us overwhelm us with their beauty and size, so also, of course, we are overwhelmed by the love that we find around us. People searching to help us in various ways. We have that especially here at our De La Salle Hall. So God bless you all.